Okay, I got it figured out. Uh, <laughs> this has been a while. I, you know, I did it. And I just hadn't made any more videos. But other concerns. I've been traveling on the road a lot. Uh, picking shit up. <laughs> Damn, I'm picking shit up. <laughs> But I could put the, it's almost sectioned off. I could put the router right there, and I could put the mill right here, and run the lines over to each other. From one side, just run it over to the over here. And uh, this, well, I can move it to right here. And it'll be okay. Right, the, the power and all this shit, this this is a total fuck. Uh, it'll be a very long time. I have to power this shit myself. Make it work. But, now I come right here. I can inset, or back set, uh, three quarters of an inch. Put me a stud there. And run it all the way over here. And bring it down right here. Boom. I'm not worried about blocking the view of anything right here. I just want to get the shit in here. <clears throat> and I can frame the wall up. Dry it in. Uh, so I don't have this issue. And that issue. But they'll all fit right in here. And if need be. While I'm working on this one. The new one that I just got can sit on this table right here. Uh, I'm all setting it up for this, but I can tell you, <clears throat> I can move this screw and the gantry is loose. It's wood, everything's wood, but all the parts are there. <sighs> hmm. Everything's here. It just needs to be reworked, built, whatever. And I picked me up some six foot, uh, Unistrut to fix this. And I really want a plasma table. So now what we'll have is we'll have a large format router, a large format milling machine. Holy shit. And then a plasma router. And then over here, prototype uh, CNC router. And then maybe along this wall somewhere right over here. <coughs> the uh, 3D printer. That's plural because I got two of them. Well, I got one. <laughs> I gave the other one to Angela. <laughs> uh, and then just, you know, I have a little area to put the shit until something else happens and it all changes. And this right here, I, I love it. It worked great. The uh, porter cable that I got some time ago. Man, when that guy said that uh, he got a little hot, he got it really hot. He was talking about just uh, capacitors blowing, but no, I took this little bad boy apart right here, and the armature just had. <clears throat> okay, when they wind these things with wires go around it uh shit it's like a statter or what it is but it's got a little coating on it okay <laughs> it does it's some sort of uh electrical coating conductive or whatever it's kind of like what you see in house wires and shit like that right kind of that shit all melted i mean the armature was just like <laughs> done so I'm saving it and what I'm thinking about doing is taking all taking the armature apart and taking the guts out and slot this thing and put me a fucking damn motor <laughs> where is that here like this right here <laughs> and I wire it up like that straight through there and I'll have another nice one I'll have two, and that's part of these ideas that, yeah, I know it, it's going to be a while.
I just can't get to it right now. This I got back together. The only problem is, is somewhere in the abyss of all this shit, the choke rod disappeared. And damn, they want some bucks for just the choke rod. The throttle over here, all right? But this one right here, it's like 20 something bucks. I'm like, are you kidding me? <clears throat> so I'm going to continue looking because I have looked everywhere. I mean, I've looked everywhere. Even the screws to the uh, belt sander disappeared. And I had those in a bucket with a lid, a coffee can, folder, blue, and written on top of it what the fuck it was. So, I ain't put that on. That's the septic tank cover lid with the inlet for it. Uh, the issue is, is I just ain't strong enough. I am strong enough. The, <clears throat> the real issue is, is I don't want to deal with the pain and everything, but it's ready to sit down in there, and I got little <clears throat> hooks and shit I put in it to make it work. That one runs. I need a battery. This one, I got the uh, star solenoid. That little booger right there. Uh, rebuilt carburetor. That's all done. I just got to get that star solenoid and a battery for this one right here. All right, that runs. It needs a damn. Uh, it's brand new, but it needs uh, recoil put on it. Oh yeah. And this little baby right here, she fucking runs and scoots. <laughs> I is it was my retrofit. Not bad. The the ground wires and everything I left because they had all this other shit grounded that needed it. And then I had to just hook up the other side. You know. But all of that's cool. Yep, uh, I had to get a throttle cable for the choke. All right, that's because uh, Kohler was set up different. It's a, it was a Kohler Command 25, and uh, it was the way the throttle and everything was set up different on it. So I got that, and it worked great. It does. I, you start fucking mowing some of this shit right here. Oh my god. Well, they got a little bit done. Not much, but they got a little bit done. <clears throat> they, I mean, this is a job. And look out here. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're just getting like uh, the Grand Tour. But there it is. And over there. I gotta dig out some. There's three or four trailers in there I gotta dig out because right over there I hit a cable <clears throat> that was tied to a trailer it was one of them still fucking damn guy wire cables kind of like this except it was like uh, well eighth inch or some shit I don't know but it went in a damn tire and I had to fix that shit uh, but there's a trailer over there, there's a trailer there, there's tra that one has been just destroyed. I mean, it, it was an RV, fifth wheel, and shit's laying all around it. It's like somebody took the roof off and then shoved the sides down on it with everything in it. Then you got the well house. Oh, I got some more down over here. Let's look around. Okay. We can get all that in there too. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to tell you, this is a fucking job. We start running a weed eater around here, or every one of these fucking trees, bushes, and shit. This house. Alright, and then mow it. Well, uh, those were first. When I got here, I fixed this one and that one. <laughs> right off the bat. 
looks like a moat. And I did a moat all the way down to the road to the, uh, more than halfway down the road. And all this shit. It's like a bush hog. It's fucking awesome. It's just been, uh, well, things could have been different. Same thing with that one right there. Oh, that's the monster. Hell, I'll take that one over this one any day of the week because it's simplified. <laughs> it is. It's just simplified. You don't have to fuck with the switch. You just push a cable. <laughs> and there it is. Uh, but there's the baby. She sits and waits on me. Uh, the tank um, is in here. Right there. Or my tall saw. It's in here. Hell, I might need to look around and <laughs> see what the fuck we is and isn't here. Alright, this is all full of engine parts from that Kohler. And then that's one I picked up over there. Uh, it's actually a <clears throat> horizontal, this is vertical. Jesus Christ, the sink, the bathroom's going, the place is getting a total remodel, I hope. But this is it. Out in the wilderness, enjoy. Peace, man. And then there's shots about and all that other good shit, but I gotta cover my shit up. I got another one I gotta stick over there. The printer, I don't have to worry about too much. It can stay inside. It's just, I took up the fucking table. Or, half, or three quarters of the kitchen. And I gotta get it out here, I guess. Where? Damn. Gatorland.